Today we're looking at this light strip that goes on the back of your TV and adapts the lights to the color of whatever you're watching. It's called the Govi Backlight T2. I bought this for myself so it's not sponsored. I just thought it was cool and we're gonna take a look at it. So inside the box, the first thing you'll see here is the camera. This is gonna sit on the TV and that's gonna be what communicates to the light strip the colors that need to be displayed. Next, this is the little control box that makes everything work. It has a few buttons on it for turning off and on manually. This will be the thing that sticks on the back of your TV and connects everything together. Then you got these orange cube stickers. That's gonna be for calibrating the lights. Um, you have a few cable clips for cable management. Then there's a USB-C to USB-C cable that's gonna be used for the camera. Here is the power cord. There's some more cable clips and some extra double-sided tape. They include these two cleaning wipes for wiping down the TV. Here's all the manuals and paperwork. And then here is the spool of the light strip itself. On the end of it, you have a USB-C connection and this particular model is 11.8 feet and that's meant for the 55 to 65 inch tvs so what i'm going to do to set this up is take my tv down completely but before i do that i'm just going to throw down this blanket here for it to rest on and then put the tv on top now don't mind the back of my tv all this stuck on glue from a previous light strip so now the tv's ready i set everything in place before i stuck anything on so you'll see the bottom of my TV has the stand and it kind of gets in the way of the light strip, but I'm just going to have it stick over top of it and it shouldn't be too big of a deal for me. So before you stick anything on, you're going to want to dust the TV a little bit and also use these cleaning pads. But once you do that, you're going to want to line up the light strip as close to the corner as you can and just go ahead and stick it on there. So for each of the corners of the light strip, you'll see you have a few inches of cable. What you want to do is just use the included clips to go ahead and hold that down but i just went ahead and did that for all four corners now the light strips on there properly and now i'm going to stick the control box on and the control box is going to be where you plug in the power cable you're also going to go ahead and plug in the usb-c cord coming off the light strip and then you can also plug in the camera now to the same control box okay so this is what it looks like all set up on the back doesn't look that pretty, but you shouldn't have to look at it anyway. All right, so I plugged it in. I haven't turned on the TV yet. You'll see the lights already come on though. And this is what it looks like. Now, what you'd want to do from here is go ahead and get the Govi app. This is going to be where you set it all up. Once you're in the app, you just press the plus in the top right and it should automatically detect this device if you're on the same Wi-Fi. And you'll just go ahead and click on it and go through the whole setup. So the setup process uses these orange cubes from earlier. You go ahead and lay them out on the TV just like this in the corners. And then in the app, it'll ask you to drag these dots to line up with the orange squares. And that's just letting the camera know what the edges of your TV are. But once you do that, you're basically done. You'll start seeing the colors will react to whatever's on the TV. But there's a little bit of fine tuning you can do with the saturation and the white balance. So that's gonna be different for everybody. There's actually a little test video from Govi themselves on YouTube that you could play on the TV. So I have a white stand and it was actually reflecting some of the light back up and the camera was picking up on that, which was sometimes causing the lights to stay on in certain spots without that actually being on the TV. So what I did to fix that is I did the opposite of what you're supposed to do, and I put the camera on the bottom of the TV, and this actually worked out better. So you'll see now it's on the bottom, it's just lying there. Rewent through the setup process to make sure it's all set up that way. And now since the camera's aimed at like the ceiling, the ceiling's not really reflecting as much light as the TV stand was, and now it doesn't pick up on it and everything actually works correctly. You'll see on this rainbow test video as it spins around, all of the LEDs will correspond to whatever color that's going on on the TV. Works very well, it's very fast, basically instant, and this just makes everything so much more immersive. Also, I want to mention, you don't always have to have it on this reactive mode. Sometimes I just set it to a normal color, just for a little ambient glow, and uh, it works nice for that as well. It is quite expensive. This model was about $120 if they have this coupon available on Amazon. And then there's bigger models that are also a little bit more expensive. 
But if you really like movies and shows and having like a theater experience, this is a pretty cool product to get. I'll link the exact one I purchased in the description and you guys can leave a comment if you have any questions. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.